We live in a world where tech is on the rise. It seems like every month there's some new flashy cool tech that we want. However, which pieces of tech truly matter? What pieces of tech have the potential to change your life? What pieces of tech remove friction? If you're interested in this topic, then this video is for you. Hi, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jorge. On this channel, we talk about photography and filmmaking. We merge creativity and productivity to live a fulfilling life. In today's video, I'd like to talk about the most important pieces of tech that have helped me on my creative journey. Tech that removes friction and gets out of the way and lets you enjoy the actual thing that you're supposed to do with it. I have them all right here. I'm not really sure if you can see them all, but let's get started. First, a Kindle or any sort of e-reader. I've made a video about why you need a Kindle, but to summarize it, having an e-reader reduces the friction to read. Not having to carry a heavy stack of books everywhere you go and being able to sit down anywhere and read is significant. Books like these have changed my mind, have taught me new things that I try to apply to my everyday life. And most importantly, they have given me the tools that I need to start this YouTube channel and my creative journey. I would not be here doing any of this if it weren't for all the books that I've read. Learning, growing, and personal development is the point of reading. And if you're like me and you like gadgets and tech, then mixing reading and tech becomes a lot more fun. I have recommended the Kindle Paperwhite before. To my surprise, it feels exactly like reading a book. The electronic ink display has a 300 pixel per inch resolution for sharp text and it looks just like paper. It has a built-in backlight for high brightness situations and even a dark mode as well. However, not long ago, Amazon released a newer version of the Paperwhite, and I do believe the changes are significant enough to justify it. The newer model has a redesigned look, a larger 6.8 inch glare free display, and it's also now waterproof. Although I do not have any intentions whatsoever of testing that claim. But the most significant or important thing is that they added an adjustable warm light. And this is key for those of you that read in bed before going to sleep. Now you don't have any sort of blue light interrupting your sleeping patterns or you don't need expensive blue light preventing eyeglasses, it's a more comfortable experience in general. I highly recommend the Kindle Paperwhite, even if you're not a fan of reading or you don't read very often. The point of this video is tech that matters, tech that removes friction and tech that helps you grow and learn. And the Kindle has significantly added value to my life. Wireless earbuds don't sound very important until you actually use them, and most people associate these with listening to music, but actually don't listen to music that often. And if I'm honest, AirPods are one of the most important pieces of tech that has added the most value to my life. Needless to say, it doesn't have to be AirPods. It can be any sort of wireless earbuds. These are just the ones I use and the ones I like. But the freedom and flexibility of wireless earbuds is something that has to be fully experienced to fully understand it. You don't really like to read or struggle finishing books? No problem. Just continue where you left off in the audiobook form. Listen and learn from dozens of incredible podcasts and from entrepreneurs and people that have gone down the path that you want to follow. Replace the boring time-wasting commute with listening to meaningful books or podcasts or even just your favorite music as well. Now, earbuds are not a new invention. These have been around for a while. So why are wireless earbuds suddenly the best thing ever? I've been thinking about this for a while, and to me, it really comes down to the convenience and the ease of use. It's just plug and play, and you're ready to go. Removing friction is the recurring theme that you'll see in this video, and these really remove the friction and make it convenient to use earbuds. I'm not really thinking about the tech, I'm not really thinking about the specs, it's more about how I use them or what do I get from using these that really matter. Doing chores at home like doing the dishes or doing your laundry. All of these simple but time consuming activities are less annoying when you're listening to your favorite book or podcast. And all I have to do is open the case, it auto connects, I put these on and I can hit play and that's it. I can even leave my phone in my room and just go about doing my chores. The AirPods Pro have extra features like noise cancelling and a transparency mode that makes it easy to hear what's going on around you. But remember, it's about removing friction and letting the tech become second nature. 
These have also helped me sleep at times. Just set the noise cancelling, hit play on your favorite rain or ocean sound playlist, and that's it. I'm done for the day. There is a newer model that is cheaper as well, so I definitely recommend you pick one of these up if you have an iPhone or any sort of comparable wireless earbuds if you use Android phones. Last but not least, you need a camera and you need a lens. Just one. This may feel obvious to you, this is a photography and filmmaking channel after all. However, it is not as obvious as you might think. First, most people get by using their smartphone and don't really need to go out of their way to get a camera. And second, even if you do get a camera, most people don't want to put the energy and the effort into learning the craft. However, owning a camera and documenting your life used to be a lot more common than we think about. Our grandparents and even our parents were used to having photo albums, documenting their lives and showcasing their vacation or important events. It was a given that every family had a photo book or a photo album. However, nowadays everything's online. You don't necessarily have a spot where all your photos live. We all have lost a hard drive or smashed a phone or deleted a profile picture and now we lost those images forever. And it really makes you think, I don't have a comparable version of a photo album of my life. I have photo books where I showcase my photograph and my work, but it's not a photo album of my life, if that makes sense. If I really think about it, most of the images from when I was a kid or a teenager are, for the most part, gone. And it's really crazy to think that people decades ago had a better system and were better at documenting and showcasing their life. So, whether you are a teenager getting ready for high school, or you're a young adult getting ready for your first real job, or you just had a kid, or you're getting ready to retire soon and you want to focus on your hobby or your craft, you need a camera. You need to document your life. So that's my everyday tech. These are the most important pieces of tech that remove friction from the craft and help me grow and learn and become better. Without books, without podcasts, and without my camera, I would not be here doing any of this at all. As always, I'm curious to know what do you think? Do you read often? Do you listen to podcasts? Are you considering getting any of these pieces of tech? Share your thoughts in a comment down below. But that is it for today's video. If you found this video helpful or valuable, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and join my free newsletter as well. Thank you very much for watching, for giving me your time and your energy, and good luck with your creative process.